Hello and welcome to Curtside Fitness. What I'm going to be doing for you today is a new advanced shoulder workout. This is shoulder workout phase one. Um, I thought I was going to go to the gym today, but I thought as it's such a nice day, why not record a video and do it outside? So uh, I'm in the nice sun while I'm working out. So this is what this video is. So apology, apologies for having the top off. Uh, I don't normally do this, but it's too hot not to. So uh, yeah, this is phase one of my shoulder workout. As you may or may not know, I'm now fully qualified. So uh, this shoulder workout, I will be giving you very advanced information and this will really help you and all the information is correct. However, do attempt this at your own risk and do uh, a reasonable weight for what you can. I, I would suggest that you go from 70 to 85% of your one rep max. Okay, the first exercise we're going to do is a barbell shoulder press. For this, I've actually got 70% that I'm starting with of my one rep max. So at the moment I have on here 40 kilos. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll keep adding every set until I'm up to 85% on the fourth set. So what we're going to do is four sets and we're going to do pyramid training. So in the pyramid training we're going to do set one, we're going to do 12 reps. Set two, we're going to do 10. Set three, we're going to do eight. And set four, we're going to do six. Okay, so this is a barbell shoulder press. You want to grab the bar and you need to be shoulder distance plus one. So ideally what you want is a nice right angle when you're holding the bar. As you can see, if you're not, just adjust. So what we're going to do, we're going to lift the bar up, breathing out as we lift up. So it's and we're going to bring the bar back down level with our chin 12 times. And then that's set one done. And obviously the next set, what we're going to do is do the same again. I'll add a little bit of weight and do 10 reps. Then add a little bit of weight, do weight, and then finish with 85% of my one rep max with six reps. Okay, we just finished a barbell shoulder press. A barbell shoulder press would have been working our anterior and lateral deltoid. Um, because it's a bar and you're bringing the, the bar in front of your chin because you can't go in the middle to work all three, it's only going to be working the side and front. So now what we need is an exercise that's going to work the back. So what I've chose here is a wide grip upright row. And um, what this does, this will work our posterior deltoids as well as our mid traps. So okay, for this what we need to do, again what we're going to do is four sets and we're going to do pyramid training. So set one, 12, set two, 10, set three, eight, and set four, six. And again, we're going to be working from 70 to 85% of your one rep max. I'll start on 70. 75. So, we'll pick the bar up. This time, we want shoulder distance apart, plus one. Then, for this, I'll, I'll go on the side so you can see a little bit better. But we're going to be lifting the bar. We bring our shoulders forward and we're going to lift the bar up to our chest making sure that our forearm don't do this, don't do this, we need them nice and parallel. So here we go. Breathing out as we lift. really be able to feel that in your traps more than anything. Okay, so that's set one. Now we need to get through set two, three, and four, doing 10, eight, and six reps. Okay, we're on to the last exercise now. And what we're gonna be doing now is um, an exercise which is called 21s. Um, a lot of you have probably heard of 21s. 21s is where you do three sets of seven reps without stopping. Um, 21s is originally a shoulder workout, but a lot of people do incorporate it into other workouts now. They do 21s on arms, 21s on legs, and but 21s is actually just a shoulder workout. And it was actually created by a bodybuilder trainer, which I can't remember his name. If I remember, I'll post it here. 
But uh, yeah, basically, all his athletes were turning up to these bodybuilding competitions, and their deltoids were a lot more defined than everybody else's. And when asked why, he said due to 21s. So this is the 21 workout. Basically, it's three lots of shoulder raises. We're going to be doing a front run, a lateral, and then a bent over lateral, which is going to be working the rear deltoid, posterior. So, this is how we do it. I'll take you through one set. We're going to do it four times, but I'll take you through the first set. So, first of all, we're going to be doing the front raise, breathing it out as we lift. Ideally, you'd do these with dumbbells, but I haven't got any at the moment. So, I'm improvising. Just raise it to chin level six. Nice and controlled, seven. Then we're going to go for lat, so feet shoulder width apart, just above parallel. No rest down here. And then we're going to finish with a bent over one. So our back's nice and flat, like this, if you can see. And we're going to go. I don't want to see any backs like this or up here because you're not working them properly. It needs to be a nice flat back so you're working your posterior deltoids. Okay, so that is set one. We're going to do four of those and then that is your shoulder workout complete. I like to finish on abs, so I'll do now a little session of abs. I'll do four sets of crunches until failure. But that's my shoulder workout, phase one. I will be posting phase two very shortly. And uh, yeah, do this for four to six weeks and you will definitely notice a difference in your shoulders. Thank you.